Welcome back to the round table, I'm Retro Nemo. Season 3 of Rick and Morty has been in full swing and I have to say I'm loving it all. From Pickle Rick to Giant Summer, they're not holding back. There's still 5 episodes left and knowing Rick and Morty, anything can happen. Luckily for fans like me who super analyze every single frame of the show meticulously, the rest of Season 3's episode titles and descriptions have just been released. You can find them on the Rick and Morty Season 3 wiki if you're interested in looking yourself. But for now, let's take a look at what we can expect from the rest of the season. The first episode we have is one we've known about for a while and is the one premiering next week, Rest and Rick's Sick. Rest and Rick's like, I don't... Rest and relaxation. Honestly, these puns are getting out of hand. The description of this episode simply reads, Rick and Morty need a break, so we can assume that maybe they'll be taking a vacation in this episode. But we know for sure that they're both sick and tired of all the stress and calamity they go through on a daily basis because of Rick's antics. There's a clip out there of the first part of the episode where Rick and Morty go on an insane high concept adventure that ends with them in tears over what happened. It takes a super realistic look on their adventures in a way that only Rick and Morty can. I'm super excited to see how Rick and Morty deal with the stress and how the show tackles the deep emotional stress that the two have experienced together. In a funny way, of course. The next episode title we have is Tales from the Citadel. Now for a second I thought maybe this episode has something to do with the Citadel of Ricks and that maybe we'd see some new Ricks that survived the fall of the council. However, the description reads, Atlantis, we're coming. A nice little self-contained episode about Atlantis is awaiting the audience. Which leads me to believe that obviously Rick and Morty and the rest of the Smith family somehow find themselves in Atlantis or at least a parody location that's a lot like it. Maybe they have something there Rick needs. Maybe they're going there just for fun. Either way, I'm sure the episode will take the concept and run with it in a hilarious way. The next episode takes a look at Jerry and Beth and is called The ABCs of Beth. The description of this episode reads, Jerry is lucky with a lady and Beth recalls her childhood. So in this episode, Jerry may just actually get a win for once as described by him getting lucky with another woman besides Beth. I'm imagining a plot where Jerry miraculously finds a woman who appreciates him for who he is, this causes Beth to start reflecting her decisions on the divorce and then her entire life and childhood. Maybe we get to see more of like Rick abandoning her and what that was like for his upbringing. Maybe throughout this experience he realizes how much Rick screwed up her life and she finally sees Rick as the monster he kind of actually is and maybe she even turns on him. That would definitely be interesting. The second to last episode looks like it'll definitely be the most interesting of the season, however. Season 2 episode 9 is called Morty's Mind Blowers and the description reads, Morty's memory is restored. For this reason, we finally learn about the truth in this episode. This is huge, guys. Like, not only does this imply that Morty has been brainwashed in some way, but also whatever was hidden from him is some giant truth. What could this truth be? Has Rick ditched another dimension? Maybe this has something to do with the mystery of how Rick has memories of baby Morty, despite the fact that he's been gone for years. Was he actually there for Morty as a baby to block those memories out? Either way, this could be a pivotal episode for sure. Whatever Morty learns could be the straw that breaks the camel's back, as we've seen Morty is completely done with Rick's BS this season. Either way, this episode could be one to change the whole show. Finally, we have the season finale of the show. The episode is called The Rickturian Morty Date. Seriously, these puns are getting out of hand. The episode reads, Rick goes on a confrontation with the president. This is an interesting twist, seeing how in the Get Swifty episode, the president loves Rick and they seem to get uh, along really well. So what they get in a confrontation about should definitely be interesting. An interesting note to make about the description is that it only has Rick in the confrontation, not even mentioning Morty. That's a little suspicious judging by the events of the last episode. I may be stretching a tad, but it does seem a little bit suspicious if you connect the dots. Rick and Morty has super insane season finales that start with simple plots like Rick having a party or the family going on a wedding and then taking them to a super extreme places. So it's anybody's guess where this one will go. But there you have it guys, the last few episodes of Rick and Morty seem like the most interesting yet. What do you guys think? Do the descriptions make you interested to see what happens? Where do you think this season will go? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, I'm Retro Nemo for The Roundtable, signing out. See you guys in the next video. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the roundtable. If you want to get more involved for our community and watch videos from Let's Talk of Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.